immediate F tier. That is great. Well, oh, S tier. Like a gateway drug. <laughs> what is this? Wow, I'm actually really disappointed. That sucks, bro. <laughs> Uh, okay, you know what? Let's just put one <coughs> away. We'll share one. We'll share one. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to Halal Snack Pack, the show where we talk about Muslim matters, topics and snacks all wrapped up in a nice little pack. My name is Juliana. My name is Izzy. Today we're going to try some Halal Asian snacks. I grew up Asian. No, I am Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I did not grow up Asian. <laughs> So a lot of these I've had before and like more or less have tried this exact product or something similar, you know. Mm. But yeah, Asia is a big place and there's all kinds of snacks and people. <laughs> I just spat. We don't just talk about like, ooh, scary stuff. We also have eat snacks, okay? So like any tier list, we're doing a rating system. S being the highest, H being the lowest. H for, I don't know, harami or something. I have not tried some of these. I have tried... This one with strawberry, because we there's only two <laughs> left in the packaging. No, don't tell them. They don't need to know. They don't need to know. It's okay. There's only two oh. left. <laughs> Some of these I have not tried. Some I have. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to try new stuff. First, we'll start with. Okay. We'll try this first. Yes. We say try, but. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's just put one away. We'll share one. We'll share one? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll share one. Strawberry flavor. So, should we explain what this is? It's basically like a sponge cake filled with like a strawberry filling in it. So Yeah, this yeah. one is from Thailand? This one's from Thailand, yeah. yeah. And it actually has the halal... Certification. And we can say for this one at least, that because we've already eaten the whole pack, that <laughs> the filling is not as fresh as obviously it would be if you actually got it in Thailand or in an Asian store, Asian country. Bismillah. Airy. Mm -hmm. Very light. The strawberry flavor is not super strong, but it's not super fakey and like bad fake strawberry. I get you. But it is kind of fake. It is, yeah, it's fake. It's like artificial strawberry flavoring, but I like artificial strawberry <laughs> flavoring, so. But you have those that are bad. You do, yeah. I think the closest you can compare it, if you don't have anything like this, is probably like a like a Twinkie, you know, like a Twiggy. I think this is pretty good. I think we could start in the middle, B. Yeah, I was actually going to say B. Yeah, it's a good starting point. Eurocake strawberry flavor, it's in B, so. This we have not tried. No. This is a durian flavor. And I'm excited, because I like durian. Heck. Ooh, we actually haven't eaten it, okay? We just opened it. That's a nice uh, packaging. Ooh, does it smell? Oh my god. Really? That does smell. Go. Oh, wow. That's actually quite potent. So, like, the thing with durian, like, people say, oh, it smells so bad, durian. Durian doesn't necessarily smell bad. I would say it smells more like durian flavoring. Be there. The cream is feels fresher. It's not as dried in. Hmm. As someone who loves durian, who eats durian a lot, this is probably like a C tier to me. Really? Maybe bordering on H. I don't know. Oops. Like you get the smell, but you don't get the flavor. It's not as strong, but I still think it gives off a nice friendly durian flavor. Like someone who's never tried durian mm -hmm. before. Actually, Maybe we could good. try this first. Like a gateway drug. <laughs> yeah, it's like a gateway. Actually, this is a really good point. You kind of get like a feel of it. I like it because obviously we don't get durian here. So no. so I don't think it deserves H. <clears throat> I see. I'll just put it at C personally. You think the strawberry one is better though? I think it's because I want to like the durian more, more because I like durian more, but... I like durian too. But it, was, it was a tiny bit disappointing for me. So what do you think? I think I would prefer this one over the strawberry. Yeah, I would actually say so, but... But you don't want to give it an A. But yeah, because it's durian, because yeah. I'm so... Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Your cake durian flavor is the B tier. Now I'm burping durian. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the durian experience. Next. They have like a bunch of different flavors. Yeah. This is the original? I don't know. We had yeah. ones that like look redder in color. It's a dried fish snack. It's not dried fish like you eat in Norway, but it's very similar. If you get like a the non-spicy version, it kind of reminds you that of that. Okay, so basically it smells like this, like straight up fish. Yeah. Dried fish. They have a, a t 
tiny bit of spice to it. Like it's very mild. You have to like dry fish to kind of like this either way. But if you don't like spice, then this is a good one, I guess. I feel like a horse when I eat this. <laughs> Speaking of horses. But I like the flavor. It yeah. does have a tiny bit spice, but not nothing really. Not even I find it spicy. But I love the flavor of like dry fish neck. Yeah, it's good. But it is way tamer than the other flavors we've tried. For sure. So overall, I would put dry fish necks in an S tier. But wow. for this particular one, I think... I think C. Oh, you know what? You know, upon second taste, it's like there's no, there's no flavor almost. No, it's very, yeah. very mild in flavor yeah. as well. I would say C tier. Taro fish snack yellow flavor. It's like a C tier. Spicy flavor, yellow packaging. Next up. Something sweet. Pocky, I feel, is like so OG. You have ones from Thailand, you have ones from like Indonesia maybe, and you have ones from like Japan. This also has a halal sign. I've tried this before. I tried it actually in Norway the first time, visiting like an Asian store, so it has reached Scandinavia yeah. <laughs> years yeah. ago. In terms of packaging though, like the OG Pocky looked way better. Like it looks so much better than this. Ooh. Smells like strawberry. Fake strawberry. Smells like childhood, like nostalgia. It's good though. Yeah. Facial recognition got a hit. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. For someone who is a chocolate kind of girl, I do really enjoy this and I prefer these over the chocolate ones. Wow. It's so unique. I don't know, it's, it's like it's its own thing. I would go for like the original chocolate, hmm. but strawberry isn't bad. I would easily put this in A tier. Yeah, I agree. It's more enjoyable than the Euro cake strawberry. For sure. Pocky strawberry, A tier. The first one. So next, we'll have this. It's melon cream soda. Like cream soda is not a thing here. You cannot get it anywhere unless it's a, at a foreign store or Asian store. I do not grow up with cream soda. I have barely tried cream soda in Singapore. So I don't really have much of a reference. I'm not sure if I like it even, so I'm curious. I don't know what to expect on this. Like melon milk, just fizzy? No, I don't what think so. What is cream soda? Like why you put fizz in milk, in cream? Yeah, actually it doesn't really make sense, but no. it's like milky soda almost. I actually have tried one with actual milk in it oh. and it wasn't bad. Whoa, it smells Melanie. Who's Melanie? It's me. Immediate F tier. That sucks. Wow. <laughs> what <laughs> the hell? It's What's very up? weak. Dude, that sucks. We were so hyped. The packaging <clears throat> looked great. You suck. Like <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> okay, so. Wow, I'm actually really disappointed. That sucks, bro. For someone who's not really had cream soda, I'm, I'm like, eh, I don't know, it's nothing special. But it feels a bit watery. It looks really good, the color is really nice. Okay. <laughs> it's a very nice looking. It's a nice color, like it actually looks like there's milk in it. Underwhelming for sure. H tier, I would just say like. H stands for harami, so. It's not haram, but it's. You get the melon flavor. You get the fizz. Maybe some hint of cream. Like it reminds me of melon milk that's been diluted and added fizz. But also left out in the sun for a while and then you put it back in the fridge. It's not that bad. So it doesn't wow. taste like it's gone bad, but it's just no. not great. That's disappointing. I'll put it lower than F. Then H. Marafuwa melon cream soda F or H tier. Disappointed! <laughs> Dang, I really wanted to like it. Next, shrimp crackers. Okay. Or shrimp flavored crackers, rather. From Nongshim. There's like 101 different types of shrimp flavored crackers in Asia. This one's from Korea. That's pretty strong. It actually yeah. has a very <clears throat> legit shrimp smell. Yeah. is this it has no flavor at all you're like eating plastic it's like a wheat puff or like <laughs> a cheese puff without the cheese it's just a puffed something 
If it tastes like what babies get. What the heck went wrong? How is that possible? Is it old? No. You have a hint of like shrimp, like it actually tastes super bland. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste at all. <laughs> it's not even salty. And I've had way better like shrimp flavored crackers. Look for double decker shrimp crackers. No contest. This is below H tier, man. This is not good. That was really disappointing. I was so looking forward to that one. Like I was hoping it would be great. Yeah. Again, still finish it, but. Yeah, we will for sure. It's not great. Noxium shrimp flavored cracker. Nah. It's like H tier, bro. Like minus. Easy H tier. Lower. Super haram. Super harami. Don't get that brand. Like honestly, nah. Okay, so these last two is like I feel like I ate this a long time ago as a kid, and then I forgot about it. But Fujiya Milky Candy. I don't know. Just look at the packaging, like. I think he's lying. Is that a gram? New card. What do you think? Whoa. Very nice. Look at that. It's very cool, Bateman. Yeah, it's a cool packaging. He's a packaging fan. Oh. What's, what's in it though? Like, it's chocolate? No, just milk? For some reason, I think it's gonna be chocolate covered. It actually is milk candy, like straight up. Impressive. Smells nothing. It's actually hot. I thought that's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be like soft, chewy toffee, but we'll see. <laughs> you know what it tastes like? It's a balled up condensed milk. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. It's straight up condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk, which is good, but... It does take forever to chew, mm -hmm. and it gets stuck in your teeth. But you like chewy, toffee yeah. candy, right? Yeah, I do. What do you think? It is good, because it, it's just sweet milk. But I think it would be better if it was chocolate covered. It's, it's not bad. Like, it doesn't taste bad. I no. think, like, our reactions are a bit, like... It, it, it's straight up milk. If you want milk flavored candy, then yeah. this is it. But personally, I would put it like a B. B. Yeah, I think so too. Sorry, I wanted to like it even more, but Fujia milk candy B tier. B -tier. We have no S tiers. And last but not least, we have Ramu bottle grape flavor. It's basically grape flavored soda. Soda. So grape is not my favorite because grape can be very much. Yeah, it's very aromatic. I think Japan probably has one of the best like product designs. Whoa. You wanna guess what color it is? Is it not purple? Is it white grape? <gasps> no way. It's see-through. It's clear as day. It's wow. a lie. I thought it was gonna be purple. Well, oh. Okay, okay I'm gonna say what it smells like, but. First note was Wine. <laughs> alcohol -y. Is it gone bad? Have you read the label? Obviously, there's no alcohol in it. We actually researched it. It's halal friendly. <clears throat> yeah, let's taste it. Let's try it. S tier. You like it? That tastes great. I thought that tastes gonna, great. I thought <laughs> you were gonna say it's disappointing. No, I love that flavor. Because I've tasted some grape flavored like drinks that you've had in Singapore, and this is like very weak compared. No. Yeah, actually you're right, but I love grape flavored stuff. So it like, does. huh? I don't know. I think it's actually really good. The smell put me off a bit because it does smell very alcoholy. Not very, but has no. a, a hint of that. You can smell alcohol by someone walking by someone drinking, or a empty beer bottle, or something on the street. Like literally, you can smell yeah. the alcohol. That's what it smells. I have smelled cooking wine, so. That's how it reminds me of. It doesn't actually contain any alcohol. For me, because it's not so sort of like fake grape flavored, you know, I like it better, but it's still not my thing. But what do you think, flavor-wise? I'll let you decide because I'm not a grape fan. I'll put it A, maybe B. Oh wow, really, you went down. Yeah, not an S. Maybe for me, I would put B or even C because I wouldn't buy this myself. I just don't enjoy it that much, but it's not bad. Actually, you know what, thinking about it, I'll put it to a B tier. Oh wow, okay. If the smell was not as how it smelled. Is that a shipping thing? Like handling thing? I don't know. But it's what we got. So yeah, okay. I will put it B tier. Okay. So yeah, sorry. You've been demoted to B. So yeah, we have nothing on S tier. Nothing on S tier. That means we have to do another episode. <laughs> get more Asian snacks and get oh, something no. that's S tier. Poor us. Yeah. <laughs>
Pocky is the best thing we had today. But I've had Pocky so much, it's like, it's so boring to me. It's like... I think for me, the best thing maybe was durian euro cakes. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Because I miss durian and it's like an, like I said, it's a nice gateway <laughs> durian yep. treat. Yep. Even though I like the actual durian fruit. I feel like I've had more unpleasant surprises yeah, than pleasant. It was a bit disappointing. The melon soda, pff, trash. This prawn crackers, pff, it's not actual trash, no. stuff it all up, but no. you, you know what we're saying, it's, it's not great. It was not great, it's not great prawn flavor at all, at all. <laughs> no. So out of these, what would you recommend? I would recommend the Euro Cakes if you like this kind of soft spongy cakes with cream. Personally, I would recommend the Fish Snacks. And yeah. like this brand has a bunch of flavors, so try any one of these flavors. So which Asian snack do you think we should try next? Is it something you love from your country or you try that you really want to try? Like. Let, Let us, us know. know. But yeah, I, I really want to get something, find something that's S tier. Yeah, I know. Just like... But yeah, let us know if you've actually tried any of these and what do you think? Do you agree with what we're yeah. saying or have we been blasphemous to your <laughs> food beliefs? <laughs> Thank yeah. you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> you <laughs> never reply. I never reply. <laughs> it's for them to reply. I know. But yeah, see you. Bye. Man.